I'm going to do a salt ling dish. So ling is a fish that's a bit like cod, very prolific around the north coast and traditionally it would have been salted. So when you salt it, it takes out all the moisture so to keep it for really for the winter. And then you could have kept it up the chimney and uh, it would have kept taken up a lot of the smoke from the turf. But um, And then what you did was rehydrated it, so soaked it in cold water overnight, but changed the water three or four times. And then it would have been cooked with milk, which I'm gonna to do today, and some leeks as well, and finish off with potatoes. And I like to think that's the, the, this was the, sort of the original chowder. So this is a ling here. Um, so when it come, when it's um, been salted, it's kind of like firm, but what I did was uh, soaked it in the water. So this is this is it now, and it's sort of um, nice. It'll not take long to cook because it's been, it's been salted, it's all seasoned as well. So this will season everything. I don't need any salt or anything. And we'll start off with a start off with our pan and some butter and then a few leeks. So we're just going to do this all, make everything in the pan, so it's just going to be like a chowder. Handful of leeks and just been washed and chopped. Now I'm going to put a wee bit of salt in at this stage just with the leeks, help them cook down a wee bit. So that's whenever they're slightly soft, we're going to add just a mixture of milk and cream. So sometimes if you put it all milk, it kind of splits. So if you put a wee bit, of, a wee bit of cream in it, it'll just make it a little bit more silky. And we're going to do a bit, finish it off with a bit of scallion and parsley as well. So just let that cook down. So those leeks are starting to be soft a wee bit. So what we'll do is just add our, our cream and our milk. And that's just going to be the base of the essentially the soup. Okay, just let, when that's broken, we'll just bring that back up to heat again and then add our add our ling. Okay, so just ling, so I just chopped this up a wee bit. Just make sure it's submerged and then that's into the and then I'm just gonna let that sit for a wee second just to I'll take about five minutes really just to and then we'll come back and we'll we'll finish it off. I've let that simmer for about 15 minutes so you get this you're getting a lovely smell now of the of the it actually smells like chowder. It smells great. So we're just gonna finish this off with a couple of spuds. So I've already boiled these, so just finish it. Boil them in their jackets, you don't need any carry on about peeling potatoes you know so these are these are sharps express which are a lovely traditional grown spud in in, in northern ireland i think they're beautiful and uh grown up on the coast so they would use the, the seaweed for fertilizer so it doesn't taste them but it's just uh just nice you know it's just that they're using the land and the sea to produce the spuds so a couple of those in there give that a wee stir around and they'll pick up a lot of the flavor as well there And then scallion. So just I'm just going to cut this down the middle, and then just slice this up nice and finely. So we'll take our uh, white bit of the scallion, and we'll just put that in our soup. When I say soup, it's probably more like a stew. Lot, lots of different countries in, in the world have a, have recipes for salt fish and spuds together from South America up to Iceland to France, Spain. It's all very traditional and when we have salt fish in this country and it would have traditionally been eaten with new potatoes cooked in the milk, lots of scallions in at the end. So. A um, wee bit of parsley as well, just to finish this off. It takes 24 hours to soak the fish, but then it's all quite quick at the end. So just take our take our bowl and we'll spoon our fish into this. So get a good mixture of spuds and the leeks. And then just that lovely creamy. Put that in there. And then we're 
we're just going to finish that off with some of more of the scallions there, a bit of the parsley. And that's it really, that's your salt ling from the north coast, beautiful lovely potato, got our scallions, um, leeks and then just a wee bit of shot parsley at the end. Mm -hmm.